Hi, Wayne Foreman here again for Simple Woodwork Projects. And today's video review is about my favorite website for finding do-it-yourself furniture plans. As you can see by your screen, the site today that we're going to look at is AnnaWhite.com. What a great site this is. So Anna White is the owner of the site, obviously. She's a homeowner and a homemaker, a mother, lives in the middle of nowhere Alaska and loves to build furniture. What she's especially good at is taking popular furniture designs from places like Crate and Barrel, West Elm, and other high-end furniture retailers, duping those plans on her own using simple to use tools, materials that are readily available, and easy to follow instructions, and she duplicates those designs almost down to the nut and bolt so that the average homeowner and woodworker can make their own furniture. This is a site that I personally use to build many, many pieces that are in our house. So what I thought I'd do today is show you what I like most about the site and I'll show you an example of one of the plans that I'm building today and why I like this site so much. So first for navigation on this site, whenever you go to this page it will likely look different as the front page looks different almost every day you go. But in general, the navigation stays the same. And the key places that I normally go is the plan catalog, which is right here. Or on the left side, you can go to specific categories or types of projects. So you see here is a bedroom project, here's a kids and toys project, a living room project, and so on or you can look for beginner woodworking projects which are just that very easy to build don't require very many tools simple materials or intermediate also easy to build usually some advanced techniques but not too advanced for the getting started woodworker and then the place that I use most often is this search box up here on the right so for today's example I'll show you the bed if I could spell bed correctly the bed project that I'm building from here so just a general search for beds, you can see that there are many, many bed designs available. So storage beds, toddler beds, simple beds, other kinds of beds. The one that I'm looking at today is called the farmhouse bed. And even within this set of plans, there are different versions. You'll see here, there's a fancy farmhouse bed plan. Let me move to the next page, and I will show you that there's a kind of classic farmhouse bed plan with an arch in the headboard. That's this one. The plan that I'm building is the what I'll call the original or standard farmhouse bed plan for queen size beds, which you can see is right here. So I'll click on that one. And while it's loading, one of the things that I like about all the plans on this site is that they're easy to follow and easy to modify. So while this particular plan is for queen size beds, it can be very easily and quickly modified to fit king size beds, California kings, singles, twins, pretty much whatever size that you might have on hand. And I'll show you in just a moment how you would go about modifying the plan. So now that we're on the queen bed plan, the first thing that I like about each of the project sections is that you can either print the project, you can email the project, or what I like to do is save a PDF version of the project on my computer. That way, if I come back later, it's easy to find, I can print it quickly, lots of benefits to having it locally. And she makes it very easy to do that. Then you'll see the next thing that's important is a picture of the finished project, so you know what you can expect when you're building. She gives a quick summary of the project itself, why it was created, maybe where the design came from. The dimensions, you see the standard, this fits a standard queen mattress, this particular plan. Then there's a very nice material and tools section. So ahead of time you can buy all of the materials that you need. And as you'll see they are standard dimensional lumber sizes that you can find at pretty much any home improvement store, woodworking shop, or even hardware store. You also see the screws, nails, fasteners, and paint that you need, plus any miscellaneous tools. So it comes down here and shows you need wood glue, wood filler, sandpaper, primer, paint, a paintbrush. And then it even tells you what tools that you need and in some cases gives you some optional tools. 
Then it comes down to a very nice cut list. So once you've bought all of your material, you can quickly see what it takes to cut all the material correctly. She does a great job of designing the cut list so that you make the most out of every piece of lumber that you buy. There's very little waste. Then she explains how to cut. And then general instructions. This just says read through all the other farmhouse bed plans because there are different techniques that she incorporates in some of the other plans. I'll show you one of those in just a moment. Then we get into the design steps. So you see here's building step one and there's a nice picture used from that Google SketchUp program. It's a CAD CAM program that she uses to design. If you click on the picture you get a little bit bigger version so you can look at any details that you may need. And then you go on to step number two, step number three, etc. And in each step it explains in detail what you need to do and what the step should look like. Now in the case of this bed, this is our first example of an option. So if you have a box spring, this step is optional. You see here, optional bed frame if you do not have a box spring. If you do have a box spring, it goes on to explain how to do that. So this is one way that you can modify the plan. You see how the bed frame attaches to the headboard and the footboard. It talks about instructions on how to finish it. And by finishing it means painting or staining, maybe adding some decorative effects. Here's another finished photo. And then the last handy piece that I find is that the comments down at the bottom, not only do they say good job or bad job, but they also give you tips and tricks on how to do things. For example, this comment down here was submitted by Anna White, the author of the site, and she says, here's how you would adjust for a California King, for example. So if you wanted to take this plan and make it fit a larger bed, here's the dimensions of the larger bed, and here's exactly what you would do to make the changes that you'd need to fit that bed. So lots of good information on the comments. This entire website completely free of charge. It's terrific. I use it personally all the time and would highly recommend if you're looking for a woodworking project to start with that the first place you try is AnnaWhite.com. I want to thank you for joining us today. I'm Wayne Foreman from Simple Woodwork Projects. Good luck with your woodworking project and we look forward to seeing you next time.